canal was built here, and to mark that, they put these two massive Kelpies, or Clydesdale horses, to show where it was. The new part of the canal is only small, 150 metres long, but it joins the Firth River and the Carron River to the existing uh, Firth and Clyde Canal that's over the way there. It might be the Fourth and Clyde. <laughs> First morning that we've woken up in Scotland, so what better breakfast to have than porridge? Cheers! After a perfect morning, porridge and the sunshine, we're off to Stirling. Two of Scotland's most important independence battles were fought in this area. They were William Wallace's victory over the English in 1297 at Stirling Bridge. Robert the Bruce's Battle of Bannockburn in 1314. This is one of the most strategically important places in the whole of Scotland because until the fourth road bridge was opened in 1890 this was the only way to cross really between the north and south of Scotland and it was said if you held Stirling you held the keys to the kingdom and it was here that William Wallace in 1297 won his decisive battle against the English army. See the film Braveheart for more details. This is the beheading stone which was used until it became more popular in the 15th century to hang people in the town square. Stirling used to be the capital of Scotland and because of its strategic importance this castle was actually still a defence garrison until the 1960s. We've come here to the Battle of Bannockburn. Beneath swift clouds glad glints of sun belonging to none but itself we are mere transients who sing. I love this, it makes your heart beat strong. We fight not for glory, nor wealth, nor honour, but only and alone. We fight for freedom! Woohoo! First sight of snow! Welcome to the Highlands! Snow! We're in Abbeymore and uh, it was minus three overnight, minus two right now. And we've had trouble with the van starting, so it's been a struggle. It's happened two days now, so I think we've got to move towards places where it's a little bit warmer. So we're gonna go and head down towards the coast, I think, after we've been for a walk today. What a great sound. Hello, we're at Loch Morlick, and we're an hour and a half into our 10 mile walk. Mm -hmm. We've still got quite a way to go. We need to get home before it snows tonight. Yeah, oh yes, that too. Who would have thought of seeing a sandy beach up here at Glenmore? And then snow up there, sand and snow. Beautiful. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> Pretty little flask and a sandwich. And a sandwich. <laughs> We're hunting for deer and red squirrel. It was safe to say we didn't see any. Fresh tracks. 